Hello folks, this is Ananus with Ananus Gaming and welcome back to Subnautica. We have uh, made some progress, uh, well, off camera. I've uh, done some resource collecting and uh, doing pretty good, doing pretty good. Got a pretty good stock of stuff. Could use some more silver eventually, but we're still doing really good we have everything that we need to make a sea moth so I'm gonna pop up here really quick and we'll watch it being built alright guys you ready? alright let's build this and there it is <laughs> awesome, isn't it? <laughs> they use their little lasers and boom, bloop, and then they come back. They're done. Way to go, boys! And here is our brand new sea moth. Cool, huh? We don't have anything to dock it at, so it can run out of juice. So it's a good idea to always carry an extra power cell. Oh, we have a ton more titanium too so let's go ahead and get rid of that and our goal is going to be to find some more fragments so let's just refine this titanium really quick and now We'll go ahead and fill this one back up. And put the rest in here. Bink. Now we should be able to go collect some resources that we really need. And we're in the sea moth. Awesome, huh? Alright, let's see. Where's the aurora? Okay, the aurora is that way. So we want to go this way. <laughs> We're going to go away from the Aurora. Now, this little sub is awesome. There's no third person view, so. Um, also, and creatures that do attack you in the Sea Moth, they, well, they try to. And they plink off your Sea Moth. They can take off some of your hull points and stuff like that. I should have brought a welder with me. That would have been a smart thing to do. But I completely forgot. <laughs> And we're already off, so... Hmm. That's probably a sea moth fragment. But worth taking a look. Workbench fragment. Sweet! We needed that bad. Haha. <laughs> that was an awesome find. Alright, let's, um... <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's uh, get some of this limestone. We got a copper. Got a titanium. Nice. Doing good. We're doing good. Alright. Oh, sorry. Yep, you can hit things. <laughs> oh, and there's a baddie over there. They don't like us. Another copper. Awesome. We're really uh, saving up on the copper. Look at this cliff. Strange. So this is where you usually find what is it? The sandstone that has the that has the silver. Now we want to find some pretty cool fragments. The workbench fragment is absolutely awesome. But we more would like to find something called the moon pool fragment. Oh, and that's another note that you uh, should be aware of. Oh, okay, so we can find some cool stuff. Whoops, that was the wrong key. 
um, we can find some pretty cool stuff in here too. So I, what I think is, is that. Whoa. A lot of baddies down here. Um, what I think is, is that the map is the same. Ooh. Floaty islands. Is this below that other island? I don't know. Um, but you spawn in a different location. I think I can only go down to 220. Yep. All right. Go up. Go up. Go up. Yep, I'm down to 83% hull. You gotta be very careful in the sea moth. It is a wimp. <laughs> so basically, we're gonna follow this edge right here and hope that we come, aco come across another biome where we can find some other fragments. Can't really go much deeper, but fragments may could be anywhere here. So there, it's worth taking a look. Like you know, it's it's worth going. It ooh. Uh oh. Yeah, she. They'll attack you. So this is a floating island biome. All right, that's back home. Oh, we just popped way up. Oh, we're heading back towards the Aurora. So we'll turn around and go back this way. Wow, why are there so many of these guys? They're chasing us now. So this looks like a red grass biome, but I, it looks a little bit different than what I'm used to. This might be a different one. I'm getting a little bit of lag. We want to see what that fragment is before we get attacked. Terraformer. So the hole is still at 83% and we haven't been attacked yet, so that's good. That's good. This is the same same exact path that we took before? Because this is getting ridiculous. <laughs> yes it is. <laughs> Because here are the islands again. Alright, well I'm going to try to travel past the islands then. And see if there's another biome past the islands. Hopefully there is. Now I'm looking down and pressing the spacebar. And spacebar is up in this game. When you're in the sub. Or if you're swimming. So, Caution. Safe depth. I don't see anything. Oh, okay. Here's something. Oh, a cave. Oh wow, look at that. That is magnetite and that is hard to find sometimes. And that is one of the things that like to suck on to you, I think. So we want to whoa. We want to pick up basalt. We got a diamond. Oh, that's going to be awesome because we could use that to make an ultra sharp blade. And gold. And we're being attacked, of course. 
but magnetite is super hard to come by so I am going to slowly make it up towards my ship again and that's uranium for the reactor and I think those fish suck on to you and what's that oh 30 seconds of oxygen remaining okay 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 I'm getting my ship I'll get some oxygen up and we're gonna go see if we can get some more magnetite this is a great resource to find because if you're going to go looking for it, hard to find. Best thing to do, get as much as you can. When you do find it, just get as much as you can of it. You may even, I'm, we, we may even end up with extra, but I'd rather have too much than too little and have to try to come looking for it again. Also, this like getting uranium is big because that is used for reactors oh lithium I'm getting a lot of lag right now lithium is ah huge what attacked us oh a piranha fish 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Alright, let's head back in. Lithium is big too. I always have problems finding lithium. Caution. Passing safe depth. Ah, yeah, see there's piranha fish all over this place. And then they are bumping off of our you hear him <laughs> are they still bumping us no yeah yeah If you hit them, sometimes it'll knock them out. I want to get that lithium. All right. Ah, there's one more. There's one more. Ah. Okay, we made it back. We made it back. All right. There's another piece. Another two pieces. Do they follow us? I don't think so. There's a piece over here. A piece up here. Was there another piece? Yes, right there. Now let's get back into the ship. Ah, they, they did follow us. That's awesome that we got away with that. Those things are vicious, man. I wonder if this is that island. This might be that island. This is quite possibly that island. Oh, it is. Haha. -ha. All right, we're heading home. Is this Spire Island? Is this that one that looks like... Oh, we may be in trouble. Spire Island tends to spawn Reaper Leviathans. So we could be in deep trouble. 
we're just going to head straight home and pray that there are no Reaper Leviathans. <laughs> Uh, now I'm worried. I haven't heard any roaring or anything, actually, the entire time we were over there, but we just made out like bandits. Big time. We're going to have to get some um, creep vines. And we should have enough salt to make med kits and heal back up. I could just die. I could just go into my base, drop off all the stuff, come back out, and then just die. But there's no point in doing that. I, I like... I feel like that would be cheaty. And I try to die as little as possible. <laughs> Alright. And we're at 39% power. And 77% hull on the sea moth. So we're definitely going to have to use our welder on that. But, alright, let's see what we got. We got away with a lot of stuff here. Alright, whoops, that's full. So, titanium. Look at all that gold we got. Bing, 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 bing. No copper. <laughs> but we did come away with... All this stuff. Wow. Diamonds. Lithium. Oh, we're, we can't fit it all in here. All right. There's the workbench fragment. I picked up the terraformer fragment for the heck of it. But let's throw it in there. Yeah, see, it's not going to do anything with that. I can throw that out. Alright, so let's see. We're going to have to make another one of these containers. <coughs> so two titanium and a quartz. And we'll put it over here next to this one. That doesn't look like it's lining up right, but it might be because of the window. <laughs> yeah, I think that's because of the window. Whoops, don't do that. Alright, let's uh, put this stuff in here. And we'll throw this in here. We're not going to use that, but I um, also want to put the lithium in there so there's more room in here. And we want to take the welder. And throw the copper in here. And let's go weld our little ship up. There it is. Easy. Easy peasy. Now we didn't get... I was hoping to get the moon pool fragment. We didn't get that, but that's okay. We got the workbench fragment. Um, we got a lot of other stuff that we needed, like the the lithium. Lithium um, is great for reinforcing the hull of the base. Abs oh, it's so it's so awesome. Um, if we wanted to, we could put another window or two on there, and maybe put a, a reinforcement there. Yeah, put a reinforcement there, and then put another window there. I don't know if I want to use up all that quartz, though. Yeah, why not? Just for you guys, huh? So we can enjoy it. Well, we got a lot done this episode. All right, so do we want it there or there? Let's put it there.
And, um... Maybe another one over there. What the? Oh, I forgot. All integrity restored. Training system. Hello, folks, and welcome back to. Onanus has a big pool under the ocean. Good idea to put the hull reinforcement for your base on first before you put the extra window on. Huh? Huh? Because windows reduce hull integrity. This is just a little bonus time onto the episode, but we're gonna go ahead and um, put the window in over here now that, yeah. I just wanted to make sure that you guys didn't miss out on any of that little shenanigans there. And I did notice that my timer was up and it stopped recording. I am so very sorry, but there we go. Now the base looks good, huh? Except for that. I mean, but, eh, what can you do, right? Anyways. Uh, we just got the workbench. Sweet. So in the next episode, we will be probably working on first aid kits, the workbench, and stuff like that. So if you liked the episode, you want to see more, go ahead and leave me a like, comment, subs uh, subscribe to the channel, and, uh... Check out my Patreon uh, if you would like to help support the channel so we can come out with more and better content. Uh, and as always, thank you for watching. You guys have a good one.